Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're back with another banger video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can do this insane and pretty unique effect in Sony Vegas Pro. I'm going to be going step by step showing you exactly how you can do this. So yeah, if you just follow all the steps and watch the whole video all the way through, you're going to find this super, super easy to do. Now really quickly guys, just before we get into the video, if you can just go ahead, drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on, that means the absolute world to me. As you can see by before, I do shout out three people with notifications on that sub every video, so if you do want that, make sure to turn on post notifications and be active on the channel. Also, if you guys are interested, I just dropped a brand new editing pack with some insane effects just like this in this video here. There's going to be like 15 plus of them and there's also colour corrections sound effects cinematics everything that you need to become an insane editor so if you are interested in that go ahead and check the link in description i highly highly recommend it for you especially if you want to up your editing game edit a bit faster or even attract more clients to yourself and basically allow yourself to get more commissions so if that's something you're looking for make sure to go ahead and check the link in description anyways enjoy the video guys all right guys so as always the first thing you want to go ahead and do is just sync up your video with the music just get the main beat drop on here and then to create a marker you can use M on your keyboard and this is basically where we're going to start to add the velocity to sync it better. So first thing, right click on your clip, insert remove envelope velocity, then you want to double click or just click there and add a point on the marker, put this to 300%, then you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 frames to the left, you want to make another point roughly around here, put this to normal velocity, then you want to go back to the main point here, go 1 to the right, and then about three quarters in from here, so between this point and this marker point or the time thingy, you want to go ahead and put this to 50% here. And that is basically going to be your velocity. If you want a sharper, more sudden sort of velocity and sort of speed into it, you can just change this to a fast fade and that'll make it a little bit more sudden. Next thing you want to go ahead and do is go one frame to the left. You can actually move individual frames using these buttons down here or the arrow keys on your keyboard, whatever you want to use. I'm going to split the clip right here. Here's where we're going to be adding the after kill effect and here's where we're going to be adding the pre kill effect. And now you want to go back here and then you want to go minus 30 into this sort of section here. And this is going to bring in 30 frames back so we can have a set time interval to add our pre effect. So here you want to go ahead and split the clip and then now we can actually get to adding effects. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is get hue sat bright. I'm always going to do this first because I think it's just the easy and one of the most important things. You want to go to the saturation, um, keyframe this using this little button here and turn this down to zero. Then what you want to go ahead and do is go to the start again, keyframe the brightness at one and then bring this to the end of the clip right here and put this to 0.6. And that's basically just going to get rid of the brightness and the saturation as the clip goes on until the kill happens. Now the next thing we're going to add is BCC Temporal Blur. I'm going to go ahead and add the default version on and copy my settings right here. So just go ahead and copy all of these settings. After you've done that, you want to put the amount of frames at zero, keyframe it, then go to the end here and put this to 2.45. And that's going to basically create this cool like blur effect as it goes in. It looks pretty cool. Uh, the next thing we're going to go ahead and add to make this even better, we're going to do some pinch punch. You want to go ahead and drag and drop the medium pinch on. At the amount, put this to zero. Then you want to go to the end of the clip, you want to hit animate, scroll down because all these other effects are going to be here until you see the pinch punch. Then from this point right here at the end, you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 frames back. Put the pinch punch of 0 on here Then go to the end of the clip and put this to minus 0.7. And basically what this is going to do is right at the end sort of pinch your screen in a bit and then it will come back in with the after kill. Finally, the last thing you want to go ahead and add is going to be film damage. So just go ahead and drag and drop the default version and copy my settings right here. Put everything to zero except for the seed and then turn the video darkness to zero as well. So first you want to keep from the dust density. Now this is up to personal preference how much dust you want on the screen. Personally, I just keep it to around 15. I think that's a pretty low amount, but it's kind of subtle as you can see. Then the next effect you want to go ahead and keyframe is going to be the vignette darkness. Keyframe that. And at the end you want to put this to about 0.6 so it's just going to build a bit of darkness around the edge of the screen as the clip is about to hit final thing you want to go ahead and add for the pre-effect is going to be bcc lens blur 
right here i'm going to show you the exact settings so put the default version on i want to put the gamma all the way up to 1000 put the iris scale down to four or put it to zero actually then you want to keyframe it go to the end of the clip and put this to four and that's basically just going to build up a bit of blur if you couldn't tell i kind of forgot to put this earlier in the video so i'm just recording it at the end but yeah this is going to make it look so much nicer as you can see there's a bit of blur around each individual detail and it just really makes the pre-effect build up okay so now we're going to be doing the after kill effect because we've now done a pre-kill effect one thing i would recommend is you can just split the clip or split the audio below the pre-kill effect and this is a sort of optional thing depends what song you're using but if you want it to sort of muffle a little bit and sort of fade out from the background you just want to go to the effects then you want to go ahead and go to resonant filter and then put this onto muffler so that is an option if you would like to have a sort of muffled audio in order to build up for the main kill effect now for the actual effects we're going to be applying first you want to go ahead and search film glow we're going to use the pcc film glow and you can go ahead and copy the settings right here now one great thing with this is the color is fully customizable so as you move this around as you can see you're going to get different sort of gradients i think this gradient actually looks really really nice so we can go ahead and use this right here um, also if you would like to you can change any of the settings to your liking this is just like a sort of base amount now from here you want to go ahead and keyframe the glow intensity you want to go like a little bit after halfway through the clip and you want to go ahead and put this down to zero after you've gone ahead and done this you want to add the next effect which is going to be some flicker this is just going to make the glow look a lot nicer and kind of brighten it up a little bit as you can see so you want to go ahead and copy all of these settings right here make sure that brightness is on 1.2 and then you want to put the amplitude go to the end of the clip and then put this back down to zero now once you've gone ahead and done this we can start to add some shakes the first shake we're going to go ahead and add is going to be the y shake so this is like an impact sort of shake it's really good for just like heavy kill effects so you want to copy all of these settings right here i'm just going to open these up so you can see absolutely everything you need to feel free to pause the video and copy those settings right there after you've done that, you want to go to the start of the clip, animate the amplitude, and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 frames in. And here you want to go ahead and make this 0. Then you want to go back to the start and you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 frames in. And then just put this up to 2. So we're now going to be adding on the next sort of shake. This is going to be the tilt shake, which is going to give it more of an angle and more perspective. And yeah, it's just going to really make the impact a lot better. So go ahead and drag and drop the default version on and then copy all of these settings that you're seeing right here. So feel free to pause again and copy all of these settings right here. Once you've gone ahead and done that, keyframe the amplitude and go in line with the film glow area and put that down to zero. After you've done that, the final shake is just going to be the highlight shake. You don't have to use my specific settings here. You can just use any sort of highlight shake or just regular shake that you would use. But if you want them, go ahead and copy those right there keyframe the amplitude go in line again with the bcc film glow and put this down to zero now that you've done that we're going to add a few more effects just to really enhance and finish this off you want to go ahead and add rays you want to go and put the default version on and copy my settings right here now i'm actually just going to turn the brightness down a little bit because this is already quite bright you want to keyframe the brightness and i'd say go around 15 frames in so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 his frames is quite good then you just want to put the brightness down to zero next thing you want to go ahead and do after this is we're just going to add a subtle amount of glint on there just to really finish it off and make it look super super nice so just drag and drop your default version on i'm going to put the brightness to about 0.15 you want it quite low you don't want it to be overpowering you want to keyframe that then you want to go in line with the rays that you've just done right here and put this down to zero after you've done that you should have an image that looks a little bit like this as you can see there's quite a lot of brightness at the start and that'll soon fade out and basically it's a super super nice impact kill that you can actually alter like i'll show you right now with the film glow you can basically make any sort of gradient you like if you want something a lot different like a blue as you can see that also does look super super nice but it's all up to personal preference and the theme of the video so that's basically the whole effect right there guys i really hope you did enjoy and that this video did help you out in some way if it did make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications on it really does help more than you think also again if you do want to really get better at editing find more clients and basically expand yourself as an editor then i highly recommend you buy my editing pack the first link will be in the description i'm telling you guys right now when i say this you will not regret getting that pack 
every single person that has it is so so happy that they got it and it's really helped them become a better editor so if you are interested in that again first link in the description and finally if you want an insane community full of other editors to give you opinions and help in your edits make sure to go ahead and join my discord link in the description that's going to be me for the end of the video guys i really hope you did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one peace